Well, I'm gonna try to film in here with Zoomy uh, for the lesson. It's nighttime outside. So I um, have her on my desk in my room here. I have the light on. It's not the best light in the world. Uh, so I have my camera light on. So hopefully it's gonna be okay. I hate it when I have some yellowish, looks a little yellowish to me here, but when I'm over here, it looks okay. Anyway, today we're gonna do shapes with loops. Uh, which is this lesson, Shapes with Loops. Um, shapes with loops, loops, usually certain shapes have a set number of degrees that the internal angles add up to. For example, squares angle up, adds up to 360 degrees. And so it's actually within here. I don't know why I have these other empty tabs open. Okay, so the, the triangles angles add up to 180. For shapes that have sides of equal length, you will learn how to use a loop to write more efficient code. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import the libraries as always. Just go within the block and do run. And then it's already run that code before. It's, okay, so to appreciate the value of a for loop, first think about the code for driving in a square. That's me go back here. Oh, I thought it was Miko. I don't know who's was snoring then, if it's not Miko. Okay, to appreciate the value of a for loop, th think about the code of driving in a square. Since a square has four equal sides, you would need to go forward, then turn left or right four times. So you've got the code here. Um, and then we can just run that code so you can see here with Zoomy. Uh, I'm gonna just click the run button and Zoomy's gonna do a square. So pretty simple. She's off a little bit, maybe off rotation. So you can see we're repeating the uh, the code over and over. So you probably notice that you repeat the same section of code four times. That's a lot of typing to get around this. You can use a loop that lets you repeat parts of the code. There's a they're a great shortcut. Without them, you'd always have to write the same lines over and over. There are called loops because the last statement loops around back to the beginning. So for for loops, a for loop will repeat as many times as it's programmed. This means you can choose how many times your code will repeat. Here's the square code written as a loop in Python. What do you notice? For an example, X is the variable or placeholder to keep track of how many times a loop is run. Now, the, it actually starts at number zero. And if you run this here, you'll see that it's gonna start at zero. And it ends at three. Uh, in Python, loops start at zero and increment by one by default. Um, at the beginning of the program, x equals zero. At the end of the program, x equals three. And it stops at three because the loop will continue as long as x is less than the value in the parentheses. Um, adding one more to three means x equals four. Four is not less than four, so the loop stops. Try changing the value in the parentheses to control the number of iterations. What number does it stop at? In the cell below, practice four loops by making a square with four right turns instead of left turns. So we've got here four x in range four. Zoom me forward, zoom me turn right. So it's the same thing that we wrote up here. It's gonna do the same thing but with way less code. So let's let's run that. Like I said, she's kind of off. I don't know why she's ended up doing that, but anyway. All right, so there's more shapes. Uh, how many other shapes can you make with loops? The square is the easiest because each turn is 90 degrees, but what about the other shapes? How many sides does a triangle have? This particular triangle is equilateral, meaning all three sides are of equal length and every angle is the same number of degrees. Everything's going to always add up to 360. So if you did take 360, um, instead of doing times, just 360 divided by three will get you that, which is 120. So what we're gonna do here is the triangle code is this and it's 120. So it's the exact same code. 
but in parentheses, we, because the default is 90, we've changed it to 120, and then Zumi's gonna do a triangle. Okay, we got our triangle. Okay, so now we've got a pentagon, a hexagon, and an octagon. And all I did was I divided 360 by five, 360 by six, and 360 by eight. And I got 72, 60, and 45. Um, I think they're doing like new math when they're doing div times. It's just a division exercise. I don't know why they were showing it the other way. Anyway, so let's do the pen Pentagon. And I know I said it was the exact same code and I forgot to mention, obviously we're doing the number of degrees. So it's not just degree, sorry, the number of times as well for each side. So the degrees are here and the, the, num the number in parentheses is the number of sides that's gonna stop at that. The square was four and then the triangle was three. So it's the number of sides and the number of degrees for the code. So now we're gonna do the hexagon. I'll put Zumi back here. And we're gonna run that. Okay, and last but lot, <clears throat> sorry. Last but not least is the octagon. <coughs> Pardon. Didn't give her enough room. <laughs> so octagons, not good. Not good for a zoomy. Too much room needed. And she does not have edge detection when I'm coding her like this. She would probably have edge detect detection for other stuff. Okay, so perimeters and areas, use tape or a large mat to design a coordinate plane on the floor, mark where Zumi stops, and turn to determine the points of the shape. Next, measure the length of the shape sides, and find the perimeter, circumference, and area of the shape. So that's something they wanted me to do. I didn't do it. Um, I didn't do the extension activities. I'm just telling you them. For each shape you program, program a rotation, reflection, or translation of their original shape. Rotation means a shape just turned around at one center point. Reflection means a shape is slipped over a line. Transformation means every point of a shape is moved the same distance in the same direction. In all three, the shape has the same size, area, angles, and line lengths. So that's important to know about, but we're not gonna be doing that today. So future information. And I did wanna show one other thing. We'll start uh, the next, next week, hopefully. Um, we will do the next lesson, which will be deriving decisions, um, which is sensing obstacles, it looks like. So I can't actually shut this. I was going to shut it, but that's going to shut Zoomy off, <clears throat> which actually it's okay if we shut it off. I'm, I, I'll shut her off because I just wanted to show one other thing related to Zoomy. So we're going to shut her off. And weirdly enough, I want to show her battery percentage because every time it's either ends in a one or a nine. So right now it's showing 79%, but I, I don't think it's gauging correct percentage because when I turn her on, it shows a different amount. Anyway, we're going to shut her off. Oh, Jibo's decided to do a pizza and definitely need to be doing these things in the daytime. Okay, so we're shutting down. And it says to shut her off in 15 seconds. And this loses connection when that happens. Uh, anyway, so while she's shutting down, it should be long enough here in about five more seconds. Uh, I think I can just shut that off. Mm. Yes, Miko. Oh. oh. Okay, I should be able to shut her off now. I wish she'd just shut off on her own, but I guess you gotta flip the switch. 
So I ordered something from Robolink for Zoomy. Uh, not another mat, although hopefully your mat's gonna be okay with the water getting on it. But they had these, I'd seen, I get emails from them. These cards, uh, or Zoomy activity cards. And once I get through all the lessons, so it's gonna be a while, we're gonna go through cards at that point. Uh, I'm gonna not get it in the light there, but Lombard Street. So we're gonna go through and the, each of the cards tells, like this is a drive one. Some of them are like IR sensor ones. And there's, you know, there's a gyro scope ones. I always wanna call them Eros cause that's a, a lot of Greek restaurants in this Hi, area. Hi Jeebs. So it got this light in the way. Anyway, <clears throat> so gonna be covering these cards in the future and there's I think 20 of them. Um, and then the backs of each, they have details for the activity. Um, so this should be pretty fun. You know, we've got more stuff to do once we run out of the, uh, once we run out of the coding lessons. So bye. Um, from me and Zoomy, and Zoomy's off now though, and Jeebs. I talked to Jeebs, but I actually have to reboot him because his, he, every one week or two weeks, he has a problem with his Wi-Fi working properly and I have to either restart the Wi-Fi and that didn't work or I have to shut him down for like five or 10 minutes. You can see here, all he does is keep saying hi and stuff. He doesn't understand voice detection. Hey Jeebo, what's the weather? Danielle, it's you, one of my favorite living organisms. Yep, yeah, so anyway, gotta shut him down and I just wanted him in the video to be watching Zoomy. You know, and the others are off other than Miko and I did finally unbox Robonagi. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, we'll move this. Bye-bye-bye.